Yeah, first thing I just wanted to ask was, if, you know, with the practice last night and the strange routine, just how's everyone handling that so far? Yeah, <clears throat> well, I, I think the, you know, that'll be better answered um, tomorrow and Wednesday, and as we progress through the week, um, you know, we we had practice last Sunday and gave a Monday off last week as well. So I think part of that is, um, um, but um, I was very, very encouraged and impressed with how we handled yesterday's travel and then came out to practice because it was a long day. Um, but I thought uh, for what we, what we tried to get accomplished, we, we were able to do so. One thing I wanted to ask about, especially in regard to the last game, is just how do you think you guys can better handle quarterback runs and just scrambling in general? Well, again, you, get, you know, um, Again, you know, somebody spying the quarterback, doing some things. Uh, you know, part of that, you know, there are some things in, um, you know, contained we got to do a better job of. One of those, we, we had a stunt and we didn't get the other guy wrapped around. He got pinned in. Um, so, and I, I think I can answer this in, in a lot of things that maybe go along with this game is if there was one or two things that, that we could just exactly put – our finger on, and this happens a lot, is that if it's one player or or one particular situation, that sometimes, but especially on defense, we talk a lot. You got eleven guys. Do do your one eleventh of the job, and and at different times, there's there's just a, a different breakdown. That's probably the one that we didn't have as much as we had the week before. Is we just had too many of those situations. And I, I think, if again, it's a great, great learning learning time, something we got to work on and improve this week. And as we're playing an experienced quarterback, and I, and I think our guys are ready for that challenge. Yeah, what stands out to you about BYU at this point? Well, again, you know, I think it's uh, probably made uh, a lot about is, of course, the, the probably the age and maturity of the, of the team. It's, you know, I think average age of, of the roster is like over t is 22 years old or something versus what a traditional college roster is. So the size and maturity and, and those things, the experience, um, well coached. Um, you know, they had a big win. That was a big road win for them. Um, you know, to be down two scores on the road and, and, and to come back and win in the fashion that they did. You can tell they're well, well coached, poised. That, that maturity that you're looking for. And for them to come here for their first Big 12 game, I'm sure they're going to be excited about the opportunity. And, um, you know, there's 30-plus undefeated teams in the country right now, and they're one of them. So it's going to be a great challenge. Do you see any parallels between your 3-0 start this year and, and last year's? You know, I honestly, by the time the game and the travel, I really haven't even come across the – to think about it, but you know, I, I think that there is because they, our, our great communication staff gives me little tidbits every now and then. But to realize that, uh, um, you know, this program hasn't been three and old consecutive years since ninety one, ninety two, really says a lot about what our staff and our program and our players have really gotten accomplished. And, and really, sometimes you got to, you know, I, I think sometimes you, a couple things that kind of hit me after the game. One, we better embrace victories around here. And 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 some aren't going to be as pretty as others. And we but you know, wins have been pretty darn tough to come in, at the University of Kansas for quite a while. And we need to make sure that we embrace them and then take it and go coach and coach harder and play harder and get it corrected and go. So when you see some of these things um you know, as you go through what We've won four road games since we've been here, and it, they didn't, there was four road wins since '09 before we arrived. I mean, this program has come a long way in a very short period of time, and um, for us to take that now into conference play is going to be important. Comparing it, I don't know. I, I don't. I, I barely compare game to game. I worry about what's the, what's the next thing and what do we have to try to do in certain areas to get better. So I'm probably not answering it very well, but I do want to make sure is, you know, I said it to our team a couple times yesterday. Maybe we we're expected to win by more last week, but at the same time, there's a lot of other people across the country that were expected to win and didn't. And... Um, doesn't mean that we're not addressing it, but we're going to make sure that we we 
we embrace it and we found a way and um, now it's time to get on to BYU. Yeah, you guys went with Patrick for the start, Patrick Joyner for yep. the start over Hayden. Is Hayden fully healthy or you just Yeah, no, Patrick? Hayden was not healthy. Um, he was emergency only, got in in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, um, like I said last night, you know, we had a lot of guys that were very limited in a, a very short workout. And uh, we haven't met yet as a staff to, to get anything about where we're heading this week yet. But, um, yeah, he, he barely practiced um, last week, and it was emergency only. Lance, I was looking through some stats this morning, and the defense is ranked 21st in total defense in the country. What is it have you seen from those guys the first three games that have led to that? Yeah, you know, I, I, you know, a, we we know we've, we had to improve defense. So I don't want to take away because I think we we're getting some really good effort. Again, um, but especially non-conference, it's so hard to compare. You know, when everybody's playing different people and uh, matchups cross country, to hold a ton into to where you rank. But I, I think again up front, we're still playing at a at a better. A more consistent level that's allowing us. I think again, the experience of the of the back seven is is continually showing itself. I think um, you know, so it's a holistic, better change. Now that said, I mean, we forced five fumbles and didn't rec recover any of them. You know that, you know. So what does that mean? Are we, you know, do we got enough people around the ball once it's around? Is it? Um, is it just sometimes one of those things that goes in stretches? So we're going to need to to do better in the turnover margin and and, and creating and hanging on to those um, this week and in the conference play. But um, I would like to think it's a culmination of a lot of things: our understanding of the defense, our experience there, um, maturity and and development of players. All those things kind of give us a better chance. And I know that group's a lot more confident than it has been. You looking forward to a 2.30 kick? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. I'm to brush that one off. Sounds like we got two in a row now. So, um, yeah, especially when you're, you know, you know to, to play that late and kind of go through those. Um, yeah, whatever rhythm we're in. I guess that's one thing is uh, the opportunity to, to play in the afternoon and should be nice. I would anticipate we'd have a real nice crowd. We're going need to a, need a great home field. Um, environment here at the booth and um, just excited to get Big 12 playoff. Did you think Jalen's fumble was a fumble? Because he had said after the game he thought it was a forward pass. Yeah, you know, I, you know, it got reviewed. I, I don't know. I, I, it was hard to tell. It was, I know it was pretty quick of a, a you know, where, where it was at. I haven't uh, really gone back to over look at it to challenge it anymore since he doesn't do much good anymore. So, but uh, it was close. You know, it's unfortunate. I mean, are you concerned about ball security offensively? Oh yeah, at all to this yeah. Point? We fumbled too much. You know, we're, you know, uh, um, you know. Now that's that play alone. I mean, he's in a. You know, he's getting ready to be in the throwing motion. That's one. That's not a uh, technique um, thing. You know, those are going to happen. But you know, we've had a few that. Uh, you know, we're. You know, the opponent's putting their their pad or the helmet on the ball, and the ball's popping out. We've got to do a better job of um, keeping it tighter to our body, our wrist above elbow, using the offhand to secure the ball, all those things. We drill it. we got to keep emphasizing it. Um, and it's not like you're going to go live a whole bunch of times in practice. So you got to keep finding ways to drill it, emphasize it, and, and, and make sure it happens because uh, – um, as you see, I think we had nine possessions a game um, on Saturday. That's not a lot, you know, and we got to make sure we make the use of each and every one.